Hello! In today's video, we are going to be talking about end conditions. End conditions are represented by a dark outline square in the Nodes Overview tab. Their sole purpose is to stop executions as soon as their input conditions are met. They are a great way to stop execution when you are interested in a certain key factor of your execution rather than fulfilling a number of steps. Note that since end conditions only function based on conditions, they only accept state connections as inputs and do not output anything. When multiple end conditions are present, execution is stopped as soon as the first end condition is satisfied. Be careful when selecting the criteria by which end conditions stop execution. If the condition is not met exactly, the execution will go on until the number of steps is reached. To sum up, end conditions are nodes that stop execution based on certain conditions rather than by consuming the allocated number of steps. In our next video, we will be talking about registers.